or tactical team. Hey there guys, this is me Malorian and this is going to be a Nether Orc Tactical Team. Now in the last one there we talked about why 3D terrain sucks and it came back with a lot of comments and this is awesome. I love the fact, that's what this is really all about, you know, I don't want to be sitting here just kind of like spewing my stuff to you. The fact that you guys come back and either, you know, agree with me, disagree with me, give another way of thinking, that's all great and that's what I want to get from this. Now, as we were talking about why 3D terrain sucks, some of the people that were for the 3D terrain kind of kept on coming back with some of the same answers. And that's what I want to talk about today. Now, one of the biggest things that they kind of countered with is saying, well, if you're going to go and say that all your terrain is in 2D, well, why not just do that with your models too? Why, if, if it's going to be cheaper, if it's going to be easier and more precise, all those things that you say about terrain also apply to your model. So why not do that? And then some people even went a little bit further and said, and then why not just go to Vassal? Why even play on the table at all? Now, of course, I'm kind of adding a little bit of drama to what they said. You know, some of them, you know, all of them said a lot better than that. But that's the main thing I want to talk about now. The whole question about should we be also be using 2D models? And so that's going to be the topic. Now, straight off the bat, I guess the first thing I want to be saying, kind of? <laughs> the thing is, when you start talking about 2D models, you know, you bring it up as a, this really bad thing that seems like really alien and crazy, and can you believe if we just use 2D models? And the fact is that we already kind of do in a couple of different ways. I mean, one of the first things that first came to mind when I thought about 2D terrain and 2D models is really just board games, right? I mean, if you think about what 2D terrain is, it pretty much is just making it like a simple board game. And then a lot of the pieces in a lot of cases are also 2D. One of my favorite games, Dead of Winter, all the characters in there, be these zombies or regular characters, are all 2D pieces of paper. And they work perfectly fine. There's no issue with that whatsoever. There's other ones that do have models, you know, Shadows over Camelot or whatever. But the thing is that it's already kind of something that we use and enjoy. So kind of, kind of kind of throwing out there and saying like, oh, look how awful this is, but we already enjoy it. Now the thing is, we don't have to even go all the way to board games to be talking about 2D models and 2D terrain, because we already do 2D models when it comes to War Machine anyway. <clears throat> and where they come in is things like this. You've seen these all over the place. And, I mean, sure, we could talk about rec markers in Mark II, but really what these things are are proxy bases. Proxy bases, which are used all the time in competitive gaming. And that's another thing I came up with a video, too, is that when I say competitive, I'm talking everything from the top table guys to really all the way down to the point where the people are really there just for fun. Now, I don't want to say that everyone else isn't there for fun. You know, they're all there to have a good time but you know you get to a point where whether it's like you know five inches or five and a half inches doesn't matter anymore and the guys are more there just to have a blast and beer and that type of thing and so they won't care about that stuff at all they probably never pull out proxy bases whereas when you get a little bit farther i want to see even farther when you want to play more on the competitive side where it's more that push to win and all this even while you're still trying to have fun these proxy bases come out now the reason why you use these proxy bases are several. <laughs> and so the very first one is Scorn. Scorn has to be picked on and they're elephants with their tusks. You know, you got these models where they want to go in there and you want to place them and they want to charge in, but they literally cannot get base to base because the design of the model has these huge tusks coming out and I just can't actually literally get to where I need to be. Now, some people put their models backwards. You have this little like bum fight off type thing. But otherwise, what people do is just throw down a proxy base and say, all right, Here's my model. This is going to be my my bronze back and you know we know what the forward arc is and that's what this is going to be. Let's play on. And it's very standard. This stuff happens all the time. Another one is when you want to have models not so much engaging the enemy, but it's being base to base with your own stuff, right? Maybe you're trying to make a line of jacks, uh, their arms are going to get in the way of each other, so you throw it on a proxy base so that it lines up and you can actually make them base to base. That happens too. 
Also, when they're trying to interact with terrain, again, maybe those arms or the tusks or whatever it is, is getting in the way of a building or something you want to be a little bit more tight to, and so you throw down that proxy base so that it can actually be where you want it to be. Another thing, of course, is when your model is either, you know, heavy or whatever, and if you're on one of those crappy 3D terrain hills or forests or whatever, you don't want your model to fall over. And so sometimes people put a proxy base there just so they don't break their own model. So, <clears throat> a little bit of a poke back to our last topic, but that's part of it as well. And it's not just the small models either, right? That's why I grabbed this big guy, because even the big colossals, I see people grab these things out. And it's like, all right, I'm going to charge in there again with my huge, like, mammoth thing from Storm, which, again, has tusks which are ridiculous. And it's just not practical in a lot of cases. So, okay, the proxy base comes out, out it goes. Now we can actually say, like, okay, this is the mammoth. It's there. But so I can actually have it precisely where I want it to be, we're going to represent it with something that's 2D. Now, proxy bases are, of course, used for other things to kind of lay down, to kind of plan out your movements, uh, make sure that you have line of sight, to make sure that you have the uh, straight charge lane to get there. That's not what we're really talking about. We're talking about when a physical model is being represented by a proxy base. So, this is a Centurion. This is also going to be a Centurion, and it's something we do anyway. Now, I guess the next thing to go past that is say that, well, if you're already kind of used to doing this 2D thing, and all these counterpoints that we use for the terrain side, where it's, you know, cheaper, easier to move around, won't ship, low maintenance, blah, 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 why don't we do this for just regular models? And I guess this is where we get to a couple of more in-depth issues that didn't really come in so much for the terrain. Although maybe to kind of touch them in a, in a few different spots. And I think the very first one I want to touch on is that when I came to this game, and the one thing that does make it different from board games is the fact that it's a miniature game. You know, I didn't come into this saying, wow, I really want to use this 3D hill. I said, wow this robot looks really cool and I want to use it. I kind of came to this game for the models. So from the very first part there, kind of like the aesthetics, even though I can make that argument for the terrain side, it's one of those things where I'm sure some people came out there and said, oh wow, I want to build this entire city and there'll be buildings and all this stuff. I'm sure there's those people out there, but I'm also sure that the vast, vast, vast majority of the people went to the game for the actual playable models. And so, if you think about it at a scale, it's like, okay, this is too much because it's super 3D and it's being more of a hassle. If I just pull it down this little bit, it's kind of like the 80-20 rule. If I just kind of like let it slide on terrain, I'm going to make my life way easier and then I can actually focus on enjoying the models that brought me to the game. So I think right there, that'd be a reason why you kind of want to go with these guys as well. Uh, another thing that you can kind of bring up as well is the fact that the rules are a lot more complex for models. So if I see something down there, and let's say it's even just green felt, right? A lot of the 2D terrain is a lot better where now they have a lot better graphics for the water and the hills and the trenches, but we've all seen the other stuff where it's just a piece of cardboard or felt and it's just based off of color, right? This gray thing is a hill. If it's blue, it's water. If it's green, it's a forest. Simple, simple. <laughs> You know, just make up terms. <laughs> anyway, so the reason why you can do those things so simply is because the rules are that simple. The fact that this is a forest, awesome. That's super easy, right? I know that I can't see through it. I can see three inches into it. And if I want to go through it, it's going to be half speed. Pretty straightforward. It doesn't matter if it's palm trees or, you know, spruce or whatever. It's the forest and it's that's the rules. Now, this, as a 2D piece, can represent many different things. And as I can see back here, I have a bajillion different jacks. And being able to see that, okay, we got a Cyclone, we got an Avenger, we got a Gallant, we got a Centurion, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a. 
all these models have their own <laughs> very specialized rules and I think something that can be missing when again we're talking about these competitive games is if you just put down that proxy base you can really miss out on those visual cues which are needed a little bit more for these complex more complex areas of the rules now I've seen some other ones where they take a proxy base and they put the actual picture of the model on here that's going to help but I'm sure you're still going to get into some issues where, oh, okay, I didn't really see the difference between this was a Defender or this was a Cyclone. You know, I just saw the general chassis where when it's a model in your face, you're definitely going to kind of see the differences there. So I think that's a core, a core part of, I mean, we already talked about how you're playing the game for the models, but for kind of a playability side, because each model, and there's so many different models in War Machine, and they all have their own you know, types of weapons and special rules and interactions, having that visually so shown on the model is a huge benefit. Now, when I get to this last one here, this is going to be kind of the, probably the nail in the coffin, but what it really comes down to is the fact that we are playing this game to be playing as Games Workshop, or not, not oh wow, I'm going way off. So there, there goes that nail in the coffin, I just totally blew that one. We're playing this game because we like Privateer Press. And what does Privateer actually provide? Well, they provide models. Now, if I decide to go and just start making my own 2D models and using them, well, they might work out a lot better. They'll be cheaper, easier to use, to move around, to maintain, but no money is actually getting to Privateer Press. And it's one of those things where if you don't really support the thing you're into, well, they're going to kind of go away. So that's really, I think, the, the biggest reason why I wouldn't say like, oh, we'll just play War Machine on Vassal. Just go and print off your own little pieces of paper and play with that. Well, the fact of the matter is that we're playing this game for what Privateer Press produces. Puh, 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 puh. There's a little fun little practice there. And <laughs> the thing is, is that we do this game because we enjoy it, we spend money, and because we spend money, they stay in business and they make more things for us to enjoy. So I think that's really a big thing that you can't really get away from, right? Maybe in the future, Privateer Press will start producing 2D models. But again, it goes back to our first point, which is that's not what we really came to them for. We didn't start War Machine because we wanted to see what type of 2D terrain they could make. We came to them because, god damn, that storm wall looks awesome, or whatever model is the one that grabbed your fancy. So there you go, guys. There is, can we actually be using 2D models for playing? And the answer is, we already do, but only to a certain level. And I wouldn't push it any farther. That's where I kind of draw the line. Again, everyone has their own preferences. Everyone is into the game for something different. And if you're one of these guys that just loves the, the hobby side of it and the terrain part of it, and you just want to have 3D terrain and very complicated models with all the trimmings and the fancy bases, that's awesome. If you're a guy who, you know, for whatever reason, be it time, money, or just interest, just want to be using 2D terrain, 2D models, all the more power to you. All I'm saying is from my side, as a player and a tournament organizer, 3D terrain makes no sense whatsoever, and 2D terrain is vastly superior, and then when it comes to the models, they're what I'm there for. That's why I enjoy the 3D, but then to be honest, there's a lot of times I'm actually going to go to 2D with them as well. So there you go, guys. There's another Orc Tactical Team. Again, if you have any other comments or thoughts on this, please post it down below and we can continue this conversation. And otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye.